Um, all right, how y'all doing? I'm scared too. Y'all looking at me like I'm the wrong person. Uh, <laughs> like I, we haven't seen him tonight. What the hell is really going on? Yeah, that's there. Yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Uh, this is, yeah, this is, a, I'm looking crazy too because this is my white people quota right here. This is, yeah, this. <laughs> to the limit right here, but uh, this is affirmative action, so I'm representing that part of the show <laughs> right there. I was like, I, I called Jesse Jackson, I swear to God, I called Jesse Jackson. Y'all don't put me on the show. So uh, this is it right here. Um, yeah, this is good. I'm on high alert. I'm on high alert right now. I'm, yeah, I stay on high alert. Uh, orange, I'm in the orange zone, you know. Yeah, some people say orange, I say orange, I'm in orange, right? <laughs> right now cuz yeah cuz i i've been watching the little debates you know i know it's a big election year and you got to vote and uh see who you like you know and i don't i don't like nobody i don't really don't like nobody yeah cuz it's just the uh, same old same old just a different title that's all it is is yeah cuz um bush he um he's look uh, retarded i think he retarded <laughs> I figured that out because he, yeah, he don't know what the hell he want to do. He just be saying, oh, it's on me, it's on me. Y'all, y'all back to me already? Damn, I didn't, I didn't want to talk no more. I didn't want to talk. Um, and Kerry, Kerry sounds smart. He, he sounds like he know what he doing. He, because he got a plan. That's his big thing. I, yeah, I got a plan. He don't never tell you what the plan is, but it's a damn plan. He know he... I was like, soon as he know what the plan is, we we on our way. Soon as he tell us what the plan is, cause yeah, at least he he looked like he not wrote something down, but he can't quite tell you what it is yet. So uh, yeah, cause I be I be you gotta watch, you know, you know, uh, cause I'm I'm black, so we gotta vote, you know, uh, yeah, cause we don't know when y'all ain't gonna let us vote no more, so. <laughs> So yeah, we keep on punching the ballot because we don't know when that bill ain't gonna go through uh, no more. So we keep voting. Uh, I wanted to, uh, people, you know, black people, we always like to say um, we want a black president, but we, we really don't. We don't want no black president because that ain't gonna go good. And um, we know y'all don't want that and we not gonna do that. Cause, yeah, because Al Shopman was running, but he wasn't really running. He was just up there, you know, because you can't, yeah, because they call him a reverend. What throw me, they call Al a reverend, but uh, we don't even know where he preach at. He don't really got a church, so. Yeah, you be like, is you a guest pastor? Because I don't really know. Yeah, because you can't be president, you ain't got enough members to start a church. You gotta at least have enough members to start the church. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, right there, that's funny right there. Uh, yeah, cause I have, I have a good time wherever I go, but you still gotta, you know, only thing I don't like about Bush, uh, it, he threw me, you know, with the, the war thing, and I know the war thing uh, still going on, but he threw me, you know, when he came out with Saddam, and I was like, well, well damn, that ain't who we was looking for. We weren't looking for, yeah, cause we were looking for Bin Laden, but he said, I got Saddam, you like, that ain't who we want. What the, what a dude who was in charge of the plane. We looking for him, and he was like, but I got Saddam, you know. And we're like, that ain't who we want, you know. <laughs> and then, I, you know, I tried to go intellectual. I tried to figure it out. I was like, okay, they went to war to get the R. You know, he finishing what his dad had. couldn't finish, so he going to get the R or the gas. You know, I thought they was going to get the gas, but uh, evidently, uh, we didn't find the gas cans, cause, <laughs> cause the gas ain't went down worth a damn, you know. I, I thought we was gonna go get all the gas, then bring it back, and everybody was gonna get gas for free. You know, I thought it was gonna be like, yeah, I thought it was gonna be like, you go through McDonald's, you get a Happy Meal and a free gas voucher, like that. That's what I thought, but yeah, cause gas is still so high, you know, cause I said, I know you didn't find the weapons of mass destruction, but did you find the gas cans, that's all. Yeah, cause it's so high, it's, it's just too, too expensive right now. You can't even do people favors, you know. <laughs> Cause you know, you used to could do people favors. You know, they say, can you run me to the store? Can you run me over my mama house? Uh, you can't do that now. You know, you'd be like, uh, that'd be $17. I can't just, <laughs> yeah, I can't just let you ride. Cause I know you, that ain't gonna be good. <laughs> right there, yeah. Cause you gotta stay on high alert. That's my thing, uh, stay on high alert, you know. Cause I, I had to fly a lot doing comedy. You gotta fly, you gotta go to different cities and uh, um, you gotta make sure you wash your clothes now. That's very important, you know, cause they do the random search at the airport, you know, and I had a little traumatic experience where I didn't wash my clothes one time and I, I tried to explain to the lady, I said, uh, this ain't a good day to randomly select me, you know, cause, yeah, cause uh, I don't have no clean clothes. I don't 
want everybody to know that. I don't want you to just pull it out like that, you know, because uh, and she, the dog started barking. I was like, get away, dog. That ain't no bomb right there. Get away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, that, that ain't no bomb. That's, yeah, I'm going through something right now. But, uh, yeah, because you got to make sure. Uh, and when I get on the plane, uh, I still like to, uh, I like to, you know, they ask you, what's your seat selection? Um, I like a owl seat. That's my thing right there, a owl seat, because I feel like I run the row. I feel like that's my row. Uh, yeah, if you're on the aisle, you're on the wind in the middle, you got to depend on people. But if you're on the aisle, you be like, this is my road. Everybody can't just come in my road, you know? And I seen a little dude coming down the aisle, and I don't like the stereotype people, but he had the little thing on his head, you know? Kind of favor been lighting them, and I'm like, well, damn. He kind of favor been lighting, and I was like, I hope he ain't on my road, you know, because I want to go to sleep, you know? But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to go to sleep if he on my road, you know, because... That's a responsibility. I don't want to stereotype, but he's like, I, I, I think I'm the window seat. You know, I'm like, like, let me check your stub. You know, I can't just let you <laughs> in the row. I got to check your stub, you know, make, make sure there's proper paperwork, you know, and I, I let him in the row and I was cool for a while, but it was a long flight, you know, and he just started moving, you know, and, mm -hmm, and I'm like, hey, uh, you got to be still on the road now. We don't, <laughs> yeah, we don't move on my road. This ain't no moving road, you know, we, we be still on my road, you know. I'm like, matter of fact, it's nap time. Just gonna put your head on the window right now. And he's like, I think I need to use the restroom, you know. And I'm, I was like, we don't pee on my road. This ain't a pee road. Right here, we a strong bladder road. We a strong bladder. Yeah, because people, you know, people always say if that had been me on the plane. People like to say that that had been me on the plane. What would have really happened with the terrorists, you know? Uh, but you didn't want to be in that situation. I can tell you that right now, you know, because um, I know I can whoop your ass on the ground, you know, but I ain't never had no training that high up, so I don't really know um, what could have went down, you know? And people say, oh, they couldn't have uh, got me with a box cutter, but uh, I used to work at a warehouse. Uh, box cutter hurt. They uh, hurt, too, yeah, so, yeah, you can bleed off a box cutter, too, so don't... Don't be fooled by that, you know, but the real terrorists on planes to me is babies. That's who I have a little problem with is babies. They terrorize me on the plane. Yeah, I know you got to take your kids with you, but sometimes you be like, just uh, check them, you know, check them. You know, this is not carry on. Check that baby, you know. <laughs> Yeah, because I had a little uh, traumatic experience with a little, little white baby. And I ain't, you know, I ain't stereotyping baby, but I ain't never played with a little white baby. I don't know, you know, how you play, you know, but evidently she wanted to play with me, you know, because she, she just kept rubbing my face. And I was like, hey, little white baby, don't put your hand in my face. No, I like that. I don't, I don't, I don't like that because I got sensitive skin. I break out. I break out. So I don't really like you rubbing my face. And I figured she wanted to play because she like play with her hands. So I say uh, I play patty cake with her. I play patty cake with my little girl. So patty cake is a good game, you know. And I was like, hey, patty cake, patty cake, bake a man, bake a man. And uh, she looked at me and she was like, and I was like, whoa, I don't, I don't think that's in the song, baby. I don't think that's in the song. That's that's the remix or something right there. I don't. I don't know that version. Yeah, it's just Baker Man, you know, and it and it hurt, you know, cause I, you know, nigga hurt anytime you hit, you know, and I, I didn't know what to do, you know. So I told the mama, I was like, uh, we we get on the ground, I gotta whoop somebody ass for that. I, <laughs> yeah, I can't just let that go, cause I, yeah, word get out, I let that go. Uh, <laughs> that's yeah, take your time, don't even worry about it, take your time. Uh, no, nah, cause it's cool though, it's cool. I ju I just uh uh. Because people always do little crazy stuff, you know, because I went into a convenience store, a little 7-Eleven, and I had like a, a $5, and I gave the lady the $5, and uh, she held it to the light. She held it to the light. <laughs> and I was like, what you doing? You know, and she was like, we've been having a problem with counterfeiters, you know, and I was like, well, I, I wouldn't be a $5 counterfeiter, I can tell you that. <laughs> right now, yeah, I got more ambition than that. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that insulted me. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, like I'm gonna just be working on fives. I ain't gonna work on work on five. I'm on big bill counterfeiter. I ain't no little counterfeiter. So, uh, yeah, but people be crazy like that. But it's a, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. You gotta love who you love and try to work with people. You know, cause I live in a all uh, Hispanic neighborhood. Uh, now nah, it ain't Hispanic. It's pretty much Mexico, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, people be wanting you to be politically correct, but these are Mexicans. These ain't uh, Hispanics right here. Uh, yeah, these are the people on the picture when you go down to five. These are these people. 
<laughs> he be like, yeah, that's my neighbor. That's uh, yeah, right there. That's, yeah, that's his little girl. And that's, uh, yeah, that's their little boy right there. Yeah, they, they, on the, they stars, but they on the picture when you go down the fire. Uh, but no, I, I, I like them. I like Mexican, because I'm learning their customs. I'm from the South, so I ain't never been around. We got like one neighborhood where uh, Buford Highway, that's where all our Mexicans are, but every, here, everywhere, you know, they everywhere. Uh, yeah, so you gotta, you gotta deal with people. You know, you learn their little customs and different stuff, you know, and uh, I've learned they like to sell you stuff, you know, and I don't have no problem buying something, but I, you know, it's all in the presentation to me, you know. <laughs> Cause they'll just knock on your door, you know, and the little lady knocked on my door and she was like, uh, would you like to buy a comforter? You know, and comforter, you know, I'm like comforter, you know, and she was holding the comforter right up in her hand, you know, and I was like, I don't think I can buy that right out your hand like that, you know, <laughs> gotta wrap that up in some plastic or something, you know, cause yeah, that look like that just come off your bed. I can't buy that <sighs> right off your bed. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, because I'm a big fan of uh, corn on the cob. I like corn on the cob. I think it's a good vegetable or fruit, whatever it is, is a good uh, starch. But I don't think you should bring it to my door. That's what bothered me right there, you know, because dude just knocked on the door. He's like, my friend, my friend, corn on the cob. And I'm like, I don't like to buy it at the door. You know, I like, I like to go to a grocery store and buy corn on the cob. But evidently, it's a big seller in the neighborhood, you know. Cause I mean, we got corn kernels all over the neighborhood. Every, everybody like corn. So I said, okay, I'll try, uh, try one, you know, give me one. And uh, he's like, everything, you know, that, that threw me right there with everything, you know, cause it's, it's corn, it's not a hamburger, it's corn. Uh, what is everything for corn, you know? Cause corn don't have everything. Corn, corn just have a little black pepper butter, maybe a little salt, but everything should never be with corn on the cob. It's not, it's not that kind of food, you know? But I took a chance. I said, yeah, everything. Put everything. And he started rubbing some little white stuff on it. And I was like, well, what's that white stuff you rubbing on? That He's like, mayo, my friend. And I was like, mayonnaise don't go on corn on the cob. You can't put mayonnaise on corn on the cob. I was like, I'm just going to go to the grocery store. I'm not going to buy it at my door. Hey, I'm right, man. I appreciate y'all listening, man. Keep enjoying the show, man. Much love. Much love, Brea.